Welcome to BitScience. This tutorial is on RefreshView API, a powerful tool for enhancing user experience in Salesforce Lightning. In this video, we'll explore how to effectively utilize the RefreshView API, consideration to keep in mind, and best practices for dispatching the refresh event. Whether you are an experienced developer seeking to broaden your skills or a newcomer eager to delve into Salesforce development, you are in the right spot. Without further delay, let's dive in. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and computer science education. So, Refresh View API is uh, another approach. Basically, it's an API. So, it provides you uh, a way to to ensure that you have an updated hierarchy of components. So you'll get a right view of the component. Okay, you need not to reload the entire page. So the moment if anything changes, refresh view will refresh the view of your component. Okay. So the view is nothing but the container. And when you refresh the container, you are basically refreshing the view or you're refreshing the container itself so both are same thing there is a refresh event that's a standard event coming from the environment and you can trigger that event if you need your container to be uh, the containers view to be refreshed all right and it's going to refresh its view with the uh, data from apex uh, hierarchy and everything so all components that has an event handler that will be refreshed in your uh, when you try trigger that particular event so for example this is my course delivery i have this map here and this is a another component that asks me to change the delivery location changing this delivery location right now my delivery location is Chicago and United States. If you choose any other location, this will update and this also gets updated. Okay, that, that will make my, uh, you know, view latest and refresh and that will make the user interface correct. So we have a record page. So record page gives you implicit record ID. So your lightning record page in this case this is a record page because this is the one that contains other components custom component that is changing my location and another custom component that is registered as a handler handler means this component will be handling the refresh event and it's going to refresh the location all right and there is another component which is actually a standard component where you see the location so this should also get updated so there are two handler over here one is your custom another one is your standard so when you trigger your refresh event it will be triggered from within a container that is from the page and it will propagate to all container uh, all element in that container okay so lightning pages will act as a container by default and the custom component can register themselves to act as a containers for a other component in the hierarchy so student browser can act as a registered component for tile and tiles all right so this is how the refresh will work so the moment you register the component as a triggering component if it trigger any change the other components which are acting as a handler they will refresh and they'll get the most updated data okay so register your event refresh event and then you also going to register for the handler so here I have a refresh event imported in my refresh button component. And then when the when you want to refresh, you're going to dispatch the refresh event. That's all. These. So if you have multiple component, they are interlinked together. So if you change one value in single component, it should, you know, uh, 
navigate those changes, propagate those changes to other components. So they all get refresh value there. So for that, we have a refresh view API. And there you have it. By mastering the refresh view API, you can enhance the responsiveness and usability of your Salesforce Lightning app. Stay tuned for more tutorials and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching and happy coding.